G'day, it's Glenn VK4NGA and welcome to the shack. Just recently a uh, ham operator, a local operator, reached out to me and sent me a message and said, hey, um, my hotspot's always been connected to uh, Ethernet. I've never set up Wi-Fi before. Uh, how do I do it? And I said, uh, let's do a search on um, YouTube and see if we can find a video. And he did a search and I did a search and we both agreed that there's no videos on it. Well, no videos that cover this particular subject. Probably find there's a video there, maybe one of the longer ones on on uh, setup of uh, PyStar that uh, may contain this information. Maybe not. Anyway, so the purpose of this video is so solely to show you how to go from Ethernet to Wi-Fi because there's a couple of traps in there. Uh, where you uh, you may think that you're connected, but you're not. So this hotspot is uh, a fresh build, uh, and it's connected to Ethernet. It's it hasn't been connected to Wi-Fi so far, so the Wi-Fi is not configured in there. So uh, a quick way, just a little tip too, a quick way to find out the IP address of your hotspot is simply just PTT your radio and after a few seconds you'll see the IP address appear. Now that one says, I don't know if you can see it there, but it says uh, ETH, so ETH0 in the IP address. So if it was uh, Wi-Fi it would come up with uh, oh, WLAN I think, maybe. We'll find out anyway during the video. So this is connected to uh, Ethernet cable back here with a uh, Ethernet adapter. It's one of these. I'll just show you. It's one of these adapters. These little uh, cheapy ones. They're usually fifteen or less, fifteen or less dollars, and uh, they're just uh, micro USB to RJ45. Uh, if you've got a um, Pi 3 type hotspot, you know, with a full-size Raspberry Pi, then uh, you're going to have an Ethernet port in there, so you don't need the adapter, but for these little Pi Zero type hotspots, jumbo spots and the like, uh, you need an adapter. So the adapter plugs into this port here. Uh, if you're looking for a uh, video on uh, how to get Ethernet happening, um, have a look on my channel uh, and you'll find a video on that. <coughs> so, so the first thing uh, we're going to do is uh, have a look at the <coughs> Pi Star dashboard. Let's clear my throat. <coughs> and... Uh, a cane toad in there and uh, there you go we've gone from uh, from desk mode to screen capture mode ha! I don't use any of that fancy software stuff and editing I just shift the camera around you know me if you watch any of my videos they're raw unedited unscripted it's just how it's the easiest way to do it okay so this uh, hotspot is uh, already configured so we'll just get down to the uh, Wi-Fi section and um, what do you know? There's nothing in there that's because we've got to put it in there. So the best way to do it uh, obviously is first of all I might say that um, if your hotspot is more than a couple of meters away from your router or your home modem there's a fair chance a Wi-Fi signal is going to be pretty low and you might have problems. So I recommend two meters as a bit of a rule of thumb. Two meters or less. Uh, I run a, um, a, a Wi-Fi repeater in here in the shack because my uh, modem is um, about eight meters away uh, in the garage. So, uh, so I run a, um, a Wi-Fi repeater and it also has Ethernet ports on it too so I can uh, run LAN cables all over the place to different things. So that's a good uh, good thing to keep in mind. Uh, if in doubt, uh, put the hotspot right beside your home router and um, that way you're guaranteed of getting a uh, signal level here of 100% because that's what we're looking for. So the way to do it is to... So we're in the config page. Um, I'll just scroll up so it's the configuration page there. That's where you want to be. And we come down to the Wi-Fi section and we click on 
configure Wi-Fi, make sure the first thing you do is select the correct country. So we're AU here, Australia, and we just click scan for networks. Now it says 10 seconds in brackets, that's because it takes 10 seconds for the scan. So we'll just um, adjust the camera a bit. Okay, so so we've got a few, few in here. This is my Shack 2.4 gig Wi-Fi channel. It comes up, it's first in the list, so it's the strongest. Uh, the next one here is... Um, is uh, Wi-Fi out in the garage, I think. Uh, that one there is another little gadget I got running. And that one is another little gadget. And that, I reckon, is next door. And that's next door the other side. So there you go. So we select the one we want. Now, I already know that that's my Wi-Fi uh, repeater's SSID. So we select that. Uh, you just type in your password. I'm not going to tell you what our password is. Lucky I remember it. Click save and connect. Now, you might think, oh, Ripper, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Well, you're not yet. There's a couple more steps to go. You see, if it was connected to Wi-Fi, um, the Wi-Fi details would be in here and they're not and the other thing is uh, we wouldn't see this um, we wouldn't see this config page because the Wi-Fi is a different IP address to the Ethernet so hopefully that makes sense to you because uh, each uh, connection gets a new uh, did I say Ethernet address? IP address okay so what we need to do now is first of all I'm going to scroll up to the top. I'm just going to show you the top here. And I'm going to go into Expert. And I'm going to go over here to Wi Fi. And I'm going to see that it's in there. Oh, look at that. You can see my password now. Ding! You'll be able to log into my Wi Fi now. Anyway, so it's there. So what we do now is we go back into the configuration. What we want to do is get the power menu up. Power. Before we hit reboot, I'm not going to swing the camera around, but I'm going to... Actually, we shut down. All right, beg your pardon, wrong information. So we hit shut down. What we've got to do is we've got to turn the hotspot off and then when the hotspot's off we've got to pull the ethernet cable out so I'll swing over here and I'll show you what's going on so hotspot says close it's closed for business so you'll notice that um, the modem board's still got LEDs going. That's because the hotspot's powered up. But beneath it, the Raspberry Pi, a little board below it, no LED there. So it's safe to power it down. So I got to switch on this uh, power supply. So to switch it off, pull the Ethernet cable out. We don't need that anymore. And we switch the hotspot on. The moment of truth, see if it works. So you can see the uh, Raspberry Pi LED here flashing away as it loads Pi Star. And you'll notice the uh, SVC LED could be a different colour on your hotspot. Most are red, some aren't, some are green, some are different colours, yellows. Uh, it's flashing slow, slower than once per second, so it's not connected to the internet or to the network. This hotspot's on VKDMR network. But it wouldn't matter what you're connected to. Um, if you've got a slow flashing SVC LED, that means that your hotspot is not hooked to the internet. You saw it speed up there, and we'll see the IP address come up as it goes through the boot. So because we're on DMR, it goes through a 
a different boot process. It um, pushes Talk Group 4000, the disconnect, uh, and then um, Talk Group 9. So you see, I don't know if you can see that, it says WLAN. Let's zoom in. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. WLAN 0. And the IP address came up. Did you remember the IP address? <laughs> I did. Okay, so let's go back over to the computer. And zoom out or zoom in or something. What am I trying to do here? Okay. Righto. So I'm going to go to a different tab because I have that IP address saved in there. Just refresh that, make sure that it's right. And I'll uh, make that screen a bit bigger. And we'll go into configuration. It wants me to sign in. Righto, so we're in. So we'll scroll down. And we'll see that we are connected to Wi-Fi. So Pi Star, so your hotspot looks for the Wi-Fi connection on boot, on switch on, power on. So if you're um, if you're uh, once you connect, um, once you once you <laughs> getting confused here, once you disconnect your Ethernet and restart or turn the hotspot off and then turn it back on with the Ethernet disconnected it will look for the uh, Wi-Fi that you just configured and that you can see is uh, sitting on Wi-Fi so the IP address is different to the original IP address and so if you wanted to um, check your IP as I showed you before just PTT uh, and just wait for the IP address to come up and type that into any browser on the same Wi-Fi network and you'll have PyStar dashboard come up. So that's the way to do it. Uh, you got any questions, um, stick them down in the question bit and uh, if you like uh, the video and you found it useful um, please share it around, you know, share it to your uh, your friends and uh, colleagues uh, because they might have the same sort of issue uh, where they're um, not quite sure what to do and uh, these videos hopefully can help people out so that's the idea share them around thanks for watching 73 and uh, all the best you take care this is vk4ngo